Oh! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's Alex here and welcome to Woohoo Cooking Show! Today I thought I would take a different idea from YouTube and turn it into a Sims cooking show. Today on the menu we have... Goopy Carbonara, which is famous from The Sims 3. And I've also created these strawberry fizz cupcakes from The Sims 4 Cupcake Maker. Without further ado, let's get into it. So make sure you wash your hands before you start cooking. And I'm using your sharp utensils. So if you're cooking at home, make sure that you are looking out for your fingers because you don't want anything bad to happen. Before we start the pasta, I thought it would be best to cook our cupcakes first and I'm not gonna lie, I am not the best chef in the world and I'm gonna use a pre-mix cupcake mix, Betty Crocker strawberries and cream because I think that's gonna be perfect for our fizz cupcakes. I'm just gonna go ahead and follow the instructions that are on this box. That is, that is quite impressive. Look how pink that is. Woohoo! I like it. So we need eggs, butter. Butter! Melted! Milk! Alrighty. Preheat oven. Done. It's done. Now I just went down to the shops and I got the missing items that I needed and that's when I decided that I was going to make these cupcakes. So, I don't know if this is going to be legit or what, but hopefully it's going to be a good time. And I like making cupcakes. I don't really like eating cupcakes, but they're fun to make. Get off. That was my poor excuse of opening a bag. So we have our pink mix, it's very delicious. One egg. It's just three eggs, oh. Are you serious? I never get shell in. There we go. One egg. Two egg, no shell. And another egg. Oh, I've got a thingy on my hand. Perfect. And then it also says we can use vegetable oil, so I've got canola oil, so I'm just going to use that. Now, it says to use 80 grams of butter. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I don't like following the rules, okay? So, we got that, we got that, we got that. And now, mu uh, milk, milk, milk. Milk! How much milk? Three quarters of a cup. I couldn't find my cup, so <laughs> half a cup and then half a half a cup because that makes three quarters, right? And also, doesn't matter. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it in my kitchen because I am a pro. <laughs> I am now going to put the thing on and make it do the whiz. Ta da! I now have our strawberry goop. I went to the shops and they had these super duper cute little cupcake cases that look like the ones from the actual cupcakes. Look at them! So if you could imagine that and then a big of like strawberry on top, that's why I'm doing it. Uh, and there should be enough for everybody. <laughs> also I have some wine. Because it's like, it's like midday. Call me a bit of a nerd, but I like to always put my cupcake cases inside a muffin pan. If they're gonna spread, they're not gonna go outwards. They're just gonna sit there and make some sort of muffin shaped cupcake shape. This is quite runny actually. You know how I just went crazy? Yeah, well I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Alright, so I'm only gonna put a little bit of mix in each one. This is because I don't want it to overflow when it cooks. I want it to be perfect little cupcake shape. This is how much I've filled it up. You can see it's like about three quarters full. There they are, I'm gonna put them in the oven. And they go in for 50 to 55 minutes, that's heaps long. <laughs> okay, so now that the cupcakes are away for an hour, it's time to make our goopy carbonara which I've got all the ingredients for here, so let's get to it! First things 
first I'm going to put some pasta into a saucepan. So that means salt and I'm using fettuccine. I don't know how many people I'm serving, it's just me though. But <laughs> I'm going to probably serve for about four people so I can get about four meals out of it. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just using fettuccine for this recipe because it's thicker. Hopefully more of the sauce will stick to it. Because that's what we want, more cheese. I'm also using two different types of cheese. I'm gonna use, this is a four cheese melt, which actually has like cheddar, mozzarella, romano, and I don't know what else. And of course I'm using parmesan, so five cheeses. First things first, it calls for an onion. So this is the tiniest little onion ever, but I think it's gonna be perfect for what I need. Just gonna peel off that outer layer. And I'm terrible at chopping onions, so no chefs out there judge me because I, I don't know if I do it right. Who knows? I can almost see this being like YouTube fails. Girl loses hand while creating a cooking demonstration through her YouTube channel. Oh, the onions! They burn! This is how you do it, right? I'm only level 5 cooking skill. <laughs> can you see my thing? Seriously though, I'm crying. My stove is deadly. I'm going to put some olive oil in this pan and let that heat up. Make sure that pasta is all in here. Yeah, you're good, face. Give them a bit of a stir, otherwise they'll stick. Especially not with fettuccine. It's horrible when it sticks together because then some bits are like chewy, like al dente. You don't want that. So that should be warm now. So the onions in the pan, I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir. That smells so good already. Right, another thing we're going to add into this is just some garlic. I'm way too lazy to cut up my own cloves of garlic. So I'm going to do one big teaspoon. Actually, no, I'm going to do two because I want two cloves of garlic. So two of them is going to be two cloves, all right? There will be no vampires here tonight, guys. None of that. And I'll just turn that down because I don't want it to be too hot. This is how you separate a yolk. If you've never done it before, I have maybe once. And a lot of times on Cooking Mama. Okay, so that shell was not my friend. But what you do is you just pass it to the next shell and then you tip the white out. And unless you're some sort of bodybuilder, you're probably not going to use that egg white. I'm not going to use that egg white. So I'm just going to go plop and put four yolks in there. Why? Okay, next up we're putting some cream in here. This is 300 ml, so I'm going to need one third of this. Now, if you haven't already noticed, I am actually excluding the meat from this recipe. So, I am just making this one a vegetarian <laughs> carbonara today. But you can put meat in. You would basically throw your bacon or pancetta or ham or whatever you want in it at this stage while the garlic is cooking. Because that's what you want to do. You want to cook it all together. Parmesan! So, it says to do two-thirds of a cup of parmesan, but I'm feeling a little bit cheesy and I'm gonna put in almost a cup because that's what we do here on Alex's cooking show. We like cheese and we like the wine. So I'm not even gonna estimate, I'm not even gonna measure it because measuring's for sooks. I'm gonna say about, yeah, probably about that much. There's a whole lot of parmesan if you didn't see that. <laughs> okay, so then you take your mix as much salt and pepper as you need. I like pepper and I think carbonara is good with a bit of cracked pepper on it as well. So, I'm just gonna give this one a stir. I don't know, I'm scared it's gonna turn into scrambled egg. So I'm gonna take the pasta and I'm gonna drain it and then I'm gonna put it in this mix. You get your wine and then you get this mix and this is gonna make a creamy sauce. I said I wanted to make it really cheesy. Apparently the heat from this is just supposed to be able to cook it, which kind of makes me a bit confused, but I'm gonna add heaps of more cheese. Look at that goopy carbonara. Cheesy. There you go, you've got it. That's your uh, goopy carbonara. So I'm gonna eat this while I wait for my cupcakes to cool. They're all here waiting. What I'm gonna do is put a big of that and then I'm gonna make them look busy. So, I'll be back. Uh. 
Okay, so it's time to ice our cupcakes. So as you can see, they were sort of a bit of a baking fail. What happened was my camera decided to stop working and then I left them in the oven and it turns out that 55 minutes was too long. Yeah, I'm so sad, I wish they went brown. I'll put them here for two seconds while I fill up my wine. Okay. This is how you do icing. It's like a buttercream frosting, all right? So you go a bit crazy on the icing sugar. So you make, you basically make too much. You're gonna make, whoa, that's way too much. But you know what? It's gonna be fine. I don't have real butter. I do like this butter though because it's ethical or something. The healthy alternative, dairy-free, nut-free, oil-free, gluten-free, soy-free, lactose-free, cholesterol-free, artificial additives, free, salt reduced, and contains vitamin D. If you're using normal butter, I would go for unsalted butter. And then all you do is just, you just go crazy with it, really. You just put in as much as you need. What we're gonna do is just make a simple white icing, or buttercream frosting. I like to add a bit of milk, but just like the tiniest little bit. Mine. I didn't get it off of YouTube, I taught myself, so trademark. This is how I load my piping bag. Pull that thing through. Now with this thingy, fold it inside out as far down as possible. And then you put it in this massive cup, glass, whatever. Because this is going to make it so much easier, trust me, so much easier. Then you get your icing in a big Right, and you just do this. So easy. A few years ago, I used to always make cupcakes, and this was like the hardest part was trying to get the cupcake mixture in the bag. But once you do this, it's like the best thing ever. I don't know if this is like an actual trained thing, like this is what they actually teach bakers to do, or if they have their own special method or whatever. But it works a charm. And we're gonna get our bag. Now, if you've never iced before, I'm going to show you how to do it the real way. So what you do is you squeeze it until you get to the end, right? And that's our starting point. You twist it, and then you can sort of squeeze it as you need more. So you start whew, in the middle, no, on the outside, <laughs> and you go around and up. Boom. They're all beautifully iced now. But how are we gonna make them strawberry fizz? I wanted to buy like the sherbet that they put on sherbet cones at like Wendy's or like from Mr. Whippy, but I couldn't find any. So instead I decided to buy this glitter jelly. So I've just put some of that on a plate. And all I'm gonna do is this. Take the cupcake and I'm just gonna roll it. Look how perfect that one was. Cute. To make these strawberry fizz cupcakes, we have to put some strawberries on them. There we go. These are my strawberry fizz Sims 4 cupcakes. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me today in the kitchen. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Press that button down below. And if you have any recommendations or requests or things you'd like to see me do, please leave a comment down the bottom and I will try to make your dream a reality. <laughs> I'm gonna go and probably eat one of these cupcakes, finish off my goopy carbonara, and uh, finish off my bottle of wine. See you next time. Stay shiny. Hello. <laughs> You're lucky I'm gonna jump cut this because I'm retarded. How about I live tweet this too? Yay! <laughs>